Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make an XMU emulator work just like an original Xbox with a two terabyte hard drive. It's not two terabytes to download, it's less than 60 megabytes. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be working on Zemu today. This is a portable version. It's got a two terabyte drive, but it won't become two terabytes until you fill it up. As well as it's FTP ready for FileZilla. So what you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description. And it's going to take you to this page here. And we're just going to hit download. It's going to say it's too large for viruses to scan it, 56 megs, download anyway. Won't take long, small file. There we go. So once you have the zip file, you're gonna to wanna to right click, 7-zip, extract here. Once it's all extracted, you'll have your XMU folder. We'll open it up. And the only things that are missing that you're going to need is a BIOS and a boot.bin. I could not supply those files with this build. I did give you a helpful tips.txt. And if we open that up in Notepad, if you were to highlight each link just like so, right click, copy, and then go ahead and paste those into your web browser, you will be able to get everything you need, including FileZilla for the FTP process. So helpful tips, wink, wink. So what we're gonna wanna do once you're done with the helpful tips, you'll end up with FileZilla, which you will install. I'm not gonna go through that process. It's very easy to install. What I'm going to focus on is the three compressed files. There's zemu underscore files dot zip, surbios 2.3.2 dot rar, and truehexen 2021 dot zip. So I like to highlight all three together, right click, 7 zip, extract two. So the first one we'll focus on is zemu underscore files. And we're going to snap it to the right. I'm going to have my Zemu folder on the left. So we're going to go to boot ROM image. And then we're going to go to our boot folder in Zemu. We're going to take both files, right click, copy, paste. We'll go up to our Zemu. We're going to do our BIOS next. So let's close this out. Let's go into SirBIOS 2.3.2, snap it to the right. There's a bunch of stuff in here. We want one file. SirBIOS 2.3.2 udma6.bin. Right click, copy, paste, and then we can close that. So let's make this full screen here. And we're going to go up a folder into the main root of our Zemu folder, and we are going to run the emulator. There we go. It's going to say, please insert an Xbox disk. So what we're going to do is go to machine settings. I just want to show you guys everything going on here. So we're on 128 megabytes of RAM, HDTV pack, this is already pre-configured for you now. You have your BIOS, your boot ROM, your hard drive, and your EEPROM. So we can go to network. You are ready to go for FTP process, which will be I'll show you later in the video. Display. I'm keeping my resolution scale at 1. I'm on a low-end PC right now. You can make it full screen on startup if you want to. My window size, I'm going to change that to 720. Uh, I have VSync off. Your results may vary if you want to turn it on later. 
and I have my display mode to stretch, I'll just put it to scale. Aspect ratio is auto, but you can change it to 16, 9, or 4, 3, whichever you want. I'm just going to leave it auto. Input, mine was pre-configured because I have an Xbox One controller. And then our general, I have it to look for updates, hard FPU emulation, cache shaders to disk. I'm skipping the startup animation, and that's it. Anyway, we'll close out of the options. Machine, load disk, and you're going to want to go to where you extracted your true hex in 2021. Mine is on my desktop. I'm going to click the ISO, click open. Then I'm going to click machine and hit reset. So now that we have Hexen booted up, um, you could go install apps and dashboards if you so choose. Um, I would advise against it and just wait for the FTP process of this video. Um, it's going to include the latest XBMC for gamers, where this stuff here is all outdated. I mean, we're talking 2021, um, but if you wanted a different dashboard, you certainly could. You can go to install dashboards and install whatever you want but it will not be the latest and greatest. So what we want to do inside of Hexen is we want to come down to the Xbox admin and we want to go to File Explorer. Now while we're in here, we're going to go down to the D drive and hit A and we're going to scroll down to the Stock Files folder. And we're going to press A, just like this. Then we're going to hit our right trigger and press A on our C drive <clears throat> on the right hand window. We're going to go down to the Xbox dash dot XPE. This is not the real dashboard. I couldn't include it in this build. This is just a knockoff one, kind of like a placeholder. So we're going to hit our X button and we're going to press start. And then we're going to go down to delete, press A, go over to OK and press A. OK. So now what we want to do is press our left trigger, go to factory C dot zip, press A. From here we hit our white button on our controller and we go to extract all files to, press A. Now we're going to press B, we're going to press B one more time and then we're going to press A on the C drive. Now in now, nowhere from here we just press start. And I'll be back when it's done. Now that it's complete, we're going to press A and we're going to press B, B, B. And then we can press the back button on our controller to take us to the main menu. Now what you'll want to do is grab your mouse, go to machine, left click, eject disk, left click, back to machine, reset. There we go. We are in the Xbox dashboard. We'll hit OK. We want to come down to our settings. And I'm going to go to my clock. Time zone. And you can change it to wherever you are in the world. I am Atlantic time. I'm going to press B. And I'm going to go down to video. 480p, we want to change this to yes. Yes. 720p, we want to change this to yes. Yes. And 1080i, we want to leave on no. So now what we're going to do is machine load disk and we're going to load true hex in 2021 one more time and it'll load up so now that hexen is loaded up we just want to leave it on the main screen like this keep our emulator open but we want to launch filezilla 
From here, we're going to go to Edit, Settings, and we're going to go down to where it says Active Mode, left click. Make sure, if it's here, you want to click Use the Following IP Address and put 10.0.0.2.1. Just like that, hit OK. Now we're going to go to File, Site Manager, and we're going to make a new site. I'm going to call mine XMU2TB for 2 terabyte, and I'm going to press Enter. While we have it highlighted, make sure Protocol says FTP. The host will be 127.0.0.1. For your port, you want to put 2121. For your encryption, we're going to drop down to the bottom. Only use plain FTP. Logon type is normal. User will be Xbox, all lowercase letters just like that, and the password is the exact same, XBOX. Then we're going to want to go over to the Transfer Settings tab, click that. We're going to put it on Active, and then we're going to click Limit Number of Simultaneous Connections, just like this. Then let's hit OK. Then we'll go back to File, Site Manager, Make sure our ZEMU2TB is selected and hit connect. And now we're in. There's our C drive, our E drive, our F drive, our G drive, all ready to go to add games, emulators, apps, dashboards. So I put my dashboard on the root of E. So inside of your XMU folder, I'm on my desktop, now I'm in my XMU folder. I'm going to go into the FTP folder and I'm going to go to Dashboard. You can also install trainers if you so choose. Dashboard, XBMC for gamers. Now this is saying copy to C drive. So let's start there and go to our C drive on the right. So we're in the root of C. We're going to left click on evox-xbe, right click, upload. Done. Now we're going to click the two dots above it and we're going to go into the copy to E drive. So now over on the right pane, let's click our E drive and right in the root of it, we're going to left click on XBMC for gamers. We're going to right click, upload. And I'll be back when it's done. So during the process, if you hit a prompt like this, Basically what you want to do is make sure it says overwrite, apply to current queue only. We're going to check that and we're going to hit OK. Now I'm going to let it finish up. OK, so everything is done. So now what I'm going to do is exit out of FileZilla, but you could go ahead and add games if you want, whatever you want to do. I'm going to close out and then I'm going to close the emulator for a brief moment. Let's go into our HDD folder and compare it to when we first started. What happens is the virtual hard drive here expands the more that you add files. So, so far we've added XBMC for gamers. So if I were to compare the stock from when we started we were at 215 megabytes, as opposed to now, we are at 487. The more games you add, the bigger this file gets. So I just want to make you aware of that in case you don't have enough hard drive space or whatnot. Just keep an eye on how big your hard drive is getting for how much games and applications and emulators that you're adding to your Zemu build. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and check out our XBMC for gamers. So we're going to go to our Zemu folder. We're going to launch the emulator. We're going to go to machine, 
eject the disk, and then we're going to go to machine, reset, and we'll let it load up. Now we've got our XBMC for gamers. I'm going to make my a little bit bigger. So it wants us to manage profiles. I'm going to press A. It wants us to adjust our screen, so I'll press A. And if you set the 480 and the 720, like I did in the original Microsoft dashboard, you can just go ahead and press B. Everything's good to go. Now we're gonna go down to add profile, press A. And I'm gonna use, well, I'll go down to caps lock and hit that. And I'm just gonna put H, H, and I'm gonna press start. And I'm gonna use no thumb, so I'll just press A. And I'll go to OK. And now I'm gonna click A on HH. Load the profile. It'll take a second here. I am on lower end hardware right now. And then you will see that XBMC for gamers will launch up. So for applications, we haven't added anything yet, but it will check drive E, F, and G. Uh, we don't have any emulators and we don't have any games installed. Now I'm going to have a fully loaded version of this ready to go so you don't have to do any of these steps over on my Patreon page. So if you are interested in helping this channel out, you can go over and become a Patreon member and have this all done for you with lots of applications and emulators and artwork and so on and so forth. So that's how you get your FTP working as well as having the ability to have XBMC for gamers on your Xbox instead of loading games through XMU every time you want to go load, load an ISO, you can just add games, add apps, and it's just like having an original Xbox. So I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.